Hello, I'm Kay from the Astro team. And in this video, I will teach you how to build the contact page of our website. Now, this video is part of a course organized in a playlist for which you'll find a link in the description below. And if you want to get the most out of it, I strongly encourage you to follow this course in the exact order the videos are organized in the playlist. Now, in order to help you complete this website project, you'll find a link in the description of this video where you can download the course files. Now, as you may recall, at the beginning of this course, we imported a ready-made website with the starter templates plugin. This ready-made website came with the home page, the about page, the services page, and the contact page. And today we will be editing the contact page so that it matches our brand and our content. Now this course is free and in order to allow a maximum of people to follow along, all the tools used in this course are also free. And even if you don't have a web hosting and domain, you could always create a website locally on your machine with tools like Local by Flywheel, for example. But if you want to take this to the next level, you may want to consider an even more powerful combo with the Essential or Business Toolkits from Astra, which will not only give you access to priority support, but also access to several premium plugins like Astra Pro, premium starter templates, but also access to the ultimate add-ons for Elementor plugin. A popular all-in-one add-on that enhances Elementor's capabilities, offering more than 50 cool widgets, like the Content Toggle widget, the Before and After Slider widget, or the popular Hotspots widget, just to name a few, as well as 200 plus pre-built blocks for all of your Elementor needs. Because most probably, once you're done with this course and realize that there is no limit to what you want to create, you will want to take it to the next level. Now, I will get back to this later in the course, but if you are interested, you will find a link to get ultimate add-ons for Elementor in the description below. So first of all, you want to go to Pages, All Pages. And before we can edit the contact page, we're going to open the Services page. So hover over Services and click on Edit with Elementor. And here we're going to select our first container, so either here by clicking on the six dots, or you can open the Structure panel and select it here. Then right click, click on copy, and now let's click on the Elementor icon, exit to WordPress, then let's click on the icon in the top left, accept the prompt because we just wanna go back to the WordPress admin, and then in Pages, All Pages, you wanna hover over a contact and click on Edit with Elementor. Next, you wanna hover over the first container and click on the plus sign, then right click and paste. And right away, we are going to change the text to contact. And then let's select our container one more time. Click on the style tab. Click on choose image. And let's select this image. Click on select. Awesome. Next, let's open the course files and let's click on the text subfolder. And next, let's open the text file for the contact page. Let's rename our containers. So as usual, organizing the name of your containers is going to help you in the long run. So the first one we copied from the services page, so it's already renamed. So let's rename the other containers. Copy. Now let's go back to the Elementor interface. And first of all, let's delete the previous hero container. Next, let's double click on our container. Paste. And then as you can see, we have several containers and subcontainers. And when we get to the last level, we're going to rename those. So let's go back to our course files. Here we have the left container and the right container. So copy and paste. Now let's go back one more time. And here is the last container. Copy, double click and paste. So let's hit publish to save our work. Now let's scroll back up and let's change the text here. And actually here, the only thing we need to change is the email address. But of course, in a real life scenario, you will put your own real email address. Next, let's close the structure panel, hover over the form, click on the pencil icon. And as you can see, it's just a short code. And basically this short code tells WordPress, the form functionality is from a plugin. And this is where you find it. Here it says ID 25, because that's the entry in the database. But don't worry, it's way simpler than you may think. Now we'll talk about the form functionality in a moment, but right now we want to style this button. 
Now for the form functionality, we're using the free version of a plugin called WP Forms. So if you want to change the styling, you can either use CSS if you know what that is, but there is a simpler way. So in WordPress, you want to go to Astra, Customize, then go to Global, Buttons, and here we can set a default button style. And that's what we're going to do because by default, WP Forms takes the styling from your WordPress theme. In this case, it's Astra. So let's get to it. So for the text color, let's select color number six. And for the hover state, color number nine. Next, for the background color, for the standard state, color number five. And for the hover state, color number four. Next, you want to scroll down and where you see border radius, make sure you click on the link icon and then type 90. Next, click on publish. And now if you go back to our form, first of all, let's click on publish to save our work. Let's hit refresh. Now let's scroll down. And as you can see, we've changed the styling of the button. Now let's talk about the form functionality. So back in the WordPress admin, you want to hover over WP forms, then click on all forms. And here you see the contact form that was created initially when we imported the ready-made website. Click on edit. And here we can add more fields. So let's say I want to have a first name field. I could click on name and then I can just drag and drop it exactly where I want. And now it will be part of our form. But for the time being, I'm just going to delete this. Next, you want to go to settings and here you can change the form name. If you have several forms on your website, you can give your form a description, change the submit button text as well as the processing text. Next, you have spam protection and security. So here you can connect to several services. Next, we have notifications. And by default, when someone sends a form, an email sent to the WordPress administrator email. But you can remove this and just type any email address that you want. So for example, I'm going to type my email address, then click on save. And now if I go to the front end of my website, let me fill in that form. Hit send message. So here I got my confirmation, which by the way, you can edit here in the confirmations tab of the WP form settings. And now the content of the form is sent straight to my email. Okay, let's get back to the contact page in the Elementor Builder and let's scroll to the last container. Next, let's select our container by clicking on the six dots, then go to style, color, and let's pick color number four but now our text is not visible. So let's select our text, go to style, and for the text color, select theme color number six. Next, let's replace the images. So let's pick the first one, click on choose image, and first let's pick this image here, then click on select, and where you see border radius, let's make it five all around. Next, right click on the first image, copy, and then go to image number two, right click and paste style. Now let's repeat the operation for image three and image four. Next, let's select image number two, click on choose image and let's select this image here. Next, click on select then click on image number three, choose image, let's pick this image, click on select and last but not least, image number four, choose image and let's pick this image here. Then click on select. All right, let's click on publish to save our work. Next, let's click on the preview changes icon. And as usual, we have a beautiful hero section. And as we scroll down, here is our form that we styled with an on-brand button and changed the administrator email. And finally, we have this who we are section with some of the staff photos. So as you can see, with the help of the imported ready-made website from starter templates, as well as the course files, building the contact page was a breeze. And in the next video, I will show you how to add a completely new page to your website.